All right, guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode. Today's episode, I am going fishing today. I will be attending the, the uh, golf course ponds again, like I always do. Um, the reason why I'm going today is just because it's very, very warm out. I think it's about 60 to 62 degrees. Um, it's been like that for two to three days, but I have not been able to fish it just because of the rain. It's been raining nonstop, so... Hopefully that has get woken up the bass and all of that. Um, I really think I might catch something here today just because it's, I don't know, the water has warmed up. It, it, it went from ice to uh, not ice just because it's been very, very warm. The last three to four days, like I said, it's been between like 55 to 60. And I looked on the weather for next week and it looks like it's still going to be that. So it's kind of like a warm front that has come in. But uh, I got two rods today. I got my spinning uh Rio and rod. Uh, I got a jerk bait on that, and on my casting reel, I got a little uh, Ned rig. So with the Ned rig, I'm just gonna drag that across the bottom. Hopefully, I get a largemouth bass. And a jerk bait always works here when it's cold. So hopefully, we can hook into some uh, pretty good size largemouth bass. Uh, you know, in this pond, they're not that big. They probably average to like a pound. But uh, uh, but today, any fish is good. I really don't care what I catch as long as I catch something because I'm kind of in the slump. I have caught like one fish this. Um, I think the last two months, yeah, I caught one bass and I was at Louie's dad's pond. But hopefully today, since it's warm, it looks like the sun's coming out and it's not really windy anymore. It looks like it's prime uh, condition to catch um, some bass. So, all right, guys. And today I'm actually in my mom's car just because my car wouldn't start. So you guys can see that and that pretty nice car i like it so i'm gonna uh pack up right now pack up all my stuff in the back of it and head to the pond all right guys i'll see you at the pond old stomping ground soaking wet so i'm gonna have to lay my book bag up here then put my bigger camera on because if not it's just gonna get wet and it's gonna be very bad oh i don't know if that was a fish that just ran off it was that's pretty good because they're pretty shallow i'm gonna cast in this area where the water's running there's a little there's an area where the water runs and i'm just gonna pick up my jerk bait and throw it in there see if i can get something Because again, I have not fished this in like three or four months, so it's kind of been a long time. But using this jerk bait on my ugly stick, see if these fish want anything. It's not as windy as it is on the other side, but if they have creeped up since it's been warm, hopefully we can snag into something. Maybe a decent sized fish, just something to get the day going. And if this doesn't work, I got that Ned rig, and I'm pretty sure one of those two things will work here. Because just because when I fish this in like 45 degree weather, the fish are pretty active. I don't know what the water temp is. I'm assuming it's probably, it's pretty cold. But hopefully we run into something that's very hungry and wants to eat this jerk bait, we can bring them on in. Very slow. It's just because even though it's like the air temp is like 65 degrees, the water temp is probably about 42 to 45, and that's pretty cold for the bass. But uh, hopefully we can hook into something, just find these deep pockets where these bass are sitting. Um, the key is if you don't get anything, just to keep moving and moving. Um, the only bad thing about this spot right here is there's leaves everywhere, and I feel like I'm hooking on two leaves. But if I can find an area where these fish are, it's going to be game time because I know they love these kind of baits, these little Ned Rigs, Senkos, Jerk Baits, whatever. Just have to find out where they're at. And that's what I'm kind of doing right now is trying to get a feel of where these fish are. I don't think they're on the edge, but I keep throwing over there. I don't know why, but uh, I don't know. I might have to go to the right a little bit and cast out in deeper water because it's place kind of drops off pretty deep um so i'm gonna have to see wait and see but just have to be play the patient game for a little bit then see how this goes i should be able to get one and if not 
oh well, it's just a nice day out just to get out and do something. I'm trying to get it out there deeper too. It should be out where I just threw it. It's gonna have to like act like it's a dead fish or something, dead worm, just like or a live worm that just fell in the water since it's been raining. And just kind of like spooning it up and down like a spin. Like I'm just like letting it drop and pulling it up, letting it drop, pulling it up. Just that technique. See if something will just hit. It. Just trying to draw the, the uh, attention of the fish. And if they don't want it, and you get like a reaction strike, it's gonna be pretty good. From like when it got really, really cold. But that's a massive bluegill. Oh my god! Did you guys just see that? Holy crap! Oh my god! That fish was nuts! I just screwed up real bad. That was my fault. Did you see that fish? Guys, that thing went nuts! Oh my god! There's definitely fish over here. That was crazy. How did I miss that? I was just like reeling it in. And all of a sudden he came out of nowhere and just jumped at it. If he comes back... That thing, that thing is going to smack the crap out of this line. That was nuts. Come on, bud, come back. The key is, there you guys go, to reel and slow. I was reeling too fast. But he, he acted like he wanted that thing really, really good. So there's fish in this area. That, I just blew that. Let's see if I can hook him. Man, that was crazy. Our last cast here. Just want to just throw it over there and see if there's anything over there. If not, I'm just going to go to the sm smaller one. See if we can get anything there. Oh, yeah, we got one. Ooh, there's one. Oh, my God. Whoa. It's like a good one, too. Stay down. I get over here. Oh, yeah. Get this one in. Oh, he's a chunky. Flip him. Oh, yeah. There we go, guys. Woo! First fish, buddy, of the day. Little, uh, on a, on a net rig. Look how he ate that. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys, look how he ate that fish. That's a good size one, too. Look how he ate it. Right there. Nice bass. So pumped I caught this. Mouse all red. I don't know if he's what he's eating that's red but he's eating something that's red pop him out Whew, it's like stuck there we go guys right there look first fish of the day decent bass all right, dude, thanks for playing. Thank you for letting me catch you. It was awesome. Let him go. First fish of the day. Boom. That was a good fish. I I thought I was going to leave, but I think I'll stay here a little bit more just because that he was actually on the bank, like literally two to three feet off the shore. It's just weird how these fish are coming up so fast. I guess they're very hungry. I don't know. It's, it's, to be honest, that's the second fish I've seen has attacked my bait right about three to four feet over there it's just, it's just it's just honestly it's awesome just because when the wa weather gets a little bit warm like the 68 and the water cools up about five to six degrees these bass are getting pretty active so that's what i was looking for and i'm happy i caught that all right so i had to get out of there just because it was uh, about the storm and all that i didn't want to get caught in the storm but i did actually catch a fish um, the first fish I had, I was reeling in again too fast. Make sure you reel in very, very slow because you never know when they're going to hit. I missed that, but oh well, I redeemed myself by catching that pretty sized bass. It was pretty fat too, so I would say Zim is pushing two pounds. Um, I was I caught most of them off the uh, Ned rig. Um, that's what I was using, just a jig head and a worm, and you throw it in the middle, 
I would just like barely bring it in, like what well, sit on the bottom, bring it up, what well, sit on the bottom, bring it up. I act like something was dying or injured, and this bass came up and hit it. But yeah, to me, it was a good day. I was, I'm glad and uh, thankful. It was about 65, 68, so I can go out there. And my main goal is was to catch at least a fish, and I did that. I accomplished my goal, and it just feels really, really good when you can accomplish your goals that you set in life. Um, that's just not fishing. That's just anything like school, work, even video games, whatever. But accomplishing your goal makes you feel good. So I'm hyped off that. Um, I don't know about tomorrow if I can do some open water. I think it's supposed to be like 40, but it's supposed to be raining all day. I think I'm not going to do that just because how dry and cold it's going to be. I mean, how wet and cold it's going to be. Um, and all that so um, I'm gonna drive home right now. I'm actually in the car right now as you guys can tell I'm gonna go home get something to eat as edit this video and post it um, Yeah, if you guys can do me a favor uh, To hit that subscribe button and make sure to hit that like button and again Leave a comment below and let me know Hmm, what is your favorite time of year to fish for largemouth bass and also let's get this video at least 30 likes All right guys, and as always catch big fish. Have a great day